Even an odd collage art. What is a collage? Collage actually means to glue in French. It is when an artist cuts or rips paper and arranges it and then glues it into an art piece. So they may cut colored paper or photographs or patterned paper or anything kind of like what you're seeing on the screen here and then arrange it in a special way and then glue it to make an art piece. So we will need some colored paper and if you have some other uh, scrap paper or collaging scrapbook paper that has some type of pattern on it. I'm using some magazine pages and I'm also using some scrapbooking paper. Um, and another great idea is newspaper or wrapping paper, just any kind of scraps that you have that would you think might look nice. Um, you'll need your visual journal or another sheet of paper. You'll need a pencil and a marker for drawing shapes. And it's nice to have some other coloring materials as well. And then of course, scissors and glue. Why are we doing this? Well, we're trying to experiment with the collaging technique. With the collaging technique, you need to overlap shapes. So it's a great uh, assignment to help us learn about overlapping shapes. We're also gonna make art about our learning in math. And because it's fun. So how can we represent our understanding of even and odd numbers through our art? So one idea that I thought of was maybe we could make a monster of some sort. So one of the monsters could have even number of eyes, the other one could have an odd number of eyes, maybe even number of horns or odd number of legs. So for this idea, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my marker or pencil and I'm gonna draw some shapes onto colored paper and I am going to then cut them out. So I've decided that I wanted to do that monster idea, but maybe there's something else that you wanna make that's different that you can show your understanding of even and odd. So just this is just an example of one idea that you could do. So I'm gonna do a round green body for my even monster and I'm going to do a pointy uh, zigzaggy body for my odd monster and I've actually counted I think there's 15 uh, little points on my odd monster's body so now I will cut these shapes out remember cutting shapes out is an important part of our motor skills development and it can be kind of tricky especially if the shape is really complicated so just do your best and um, and that's all you can do. Everything that we're doing is great practice. Okay, so I'm now going to take my marker or pencil and I'm gonna write which side is my even side and which side is my odd side. And I'll divide my paper into two sides. All right, so now I need to cut out some arms and some legs and some eyeballs and some horns and whatever else I want my monsters to have. So I'm gonna show you a cool trick for how you can cut a shape out and you can have a, a duplicate of that shape cut out for you. So I'm going to take my little scrap of paper here and I fold it in half once and I'm folding it in half again. So I have it folded in half several times here. And now I'm gonna draw the shape that I want to, to cut out several times. So I'm gonna do arms. I want my, my even monster to have four arms so I'm going to draw an arm with two fingers. So both of those are even numbers, two and four, onto that paper. And I'm gonna carefully hold them together. And I'm gonna cut through all of those sheets at one time. So depending on what type of paper you're using, it can be a little more tricky than cutting out just a single sheet. But it is a helpful tip sometimes if you wanna cut the same shape over and over. So try to hold the paper together with the hand that isn't using the scissors and just do your best to maneuver the scissors around. So now I can place these arms underneath my monster's body. So I want them to go underneath so that it looks like they are attached to the monster's body. So this is kind of 
how I could place them. That's one way. I'm actually realizing they're a little bit too long and they're actually going all over the into the odd side or they're going right off the page, which is okay. But I can also trim them to make them a little shorter. One collaging tip that I have for you is to don't glue anything down right away. So cut a few shapes out, cut a bunch of shapes out. And then once you have those shapes, then you can begin to arrange them and sort of decide on where you like them. Once you glue them down, then they're stuck there. So I would suggest as a tip, maybe don't glue them down right away. So now in the video, I'm just going to continue to draw shapes and cut them out. These are going to be two little legs with four toes for my even monster. And we'll speed up the video here and we'll meet you back when I've added some of the shapes and glued them down. So I have my even monster over here. It's got uh, two little circles for a hairstyle on its head. I've got a pair of shorts with two um, legs. We've got four arms, two legs with four toes. We even have four clouds in the background here. And then on the odd side, we've got one hat and we've got three arms. We have five eyes. Um, we have three teeth. I think we have seven polka dots and one leg. So that is my even and odd monster art. How about these other ideas for how we can represent even and odd in a picture? So which side, we have two houses, which side do you think is the even house and which side do you think is the odd house? So go ahead and count and you'll probably notice quickly. So maybe you could make a picture of two houses and have even number of windows or an odd number of flowers or a tree with an odd number of branches. Or what about this example? So take a second and look which one do you think is the even side and which one do you think is the odd side. So maybe a fish aquarium would be a cool picture that you could use to show even and odd. And finally, um, a garden or some plants, right? We can have an even number of petals or an even number of leaves or an odd number of flies with three bumps on their wings. So take a pause and see if you can notice all of the uh, examples of even and odd in each picture. I hope that these pictures gave you some ideas for how you could try to represent even and odd. Feel free to use any of these ideas or come up with your own idea. So before you submit your art, go through this checklist. Make sure that you have an even side for your art and an odd side. So remember in my picture with the monsters, I drew a line through the middle to show that there were two sides. Uh, we're going to try to make sure that we use only odd numbered things on the odd side and only even numbered things on the even side. Uh, we're going to want to have a background in our art. So in my monster art, I drew some lines and patterns in my background. Maybe you could use collage techniques to create your background. Um, and then trying to use the collage technique, so cutting shapes out of colored paper and gluing them. If you don't have colored paper, uh, you can always try drawing, or maybe if you have a limited amount of colored paper, you could um, have some collage and some drawing included in your art. All right, that is it. Thanks for watching.